So CATCAM in CATCAM will uh, as, uh, the name basically means the computer aided design and computer aided manufacturing. Yeah? As you can see the words computer aided, which means with the help of computer you are going to do something. Yeah? Uh, design and manufacturing. Yeah? So in this course, what actually we do is uh, um, I think. Uh, when the student come to this course, they already have some idea of computer aided design because they have used AutoCAD or some other kind of you know a software in engineering drawing course. Uh, so in this course, we will focus on uh, some of the basic math mathematics of uh, uh, these software actually. Yeah, but of course very basic. We cannot go in uh, much detail. For example, we'll see uh, what uh, kind of equations are used, which actually you know. Um, let you rotate the uh, CAD models or uh, solid models, etc. Or what kind of curves are commonly used in uh, CAD modeling, uh, solid modeling? Uh, what kinds of you know um, projections are used? Like you, you might have already covered front view, side view, top view. We'll see them mathematically with the help of matrices, etc. Yeah. So this is the mathematical part of this course uh, in which we see the uh, background information of the. CAD side, yeah, and then of course we'll focus on the uh, some new skills and techniques like uh, finite element modeling. We'll give you some basic idea of uh, this scale, like how it is used, at what stage of product life cycle it is used. Uh, then after covering this, uh, we'll go to the uh, CAM side, yeah. CAM means computer aided manufacturing, yeah. So that means let's say you have a virtual model, you have a solid model, but it is in your computer screen, yeah. So you cannot uh, do anything with it in the real life, yeah. Now how can you bring that out of your uh, computer screen to the real world, yeah? So now this is a connection between CAD and CAM, yes, in the product life cycle. So first we design something on, by using these advanced uh, sophisticated software like CATIA. Yeah? You will also use CATIA yeah, in the CAD uh, lab, uh, and then. Um, we translate them into some sort of information uh, which you also cover in the course uh, scl files or you know um, text files or other kind of files which uh, computer numerical control machines can understand yeah so uh, these uh, cnc machine we will cover them in the uh, cam side and of course we'll focus on the architecture of the machine what kind of equipments are used sensors are used in these machines why they are so much accurate up to one micron resolution and then we'll focus on the programming of these machines so there will be three weeks dedicated for the programming uh, g codes m codes etc and then you can uh, learn them the interesting thing for you is in the lab you will uh, do actual uh, uh, solid modeling on CATIA software and you will uh, have a project as well and then you can actually uh, transfer if you want it's actually not part of the course but we encourage students if you want you can uh, uh, convert your solid model into SCL files and we have so many 3D printers in the department and you can, you can really print them uh, into real products as well. So this is a basic introduction of your uh, 360. Uh, I mostly have uh, uh, fairly like student because this uh, uh, especially the CAD part mostly relied on the matrix actually matrices yeah matrices uh, transformation matrices multiplication and uh, different kinds of you know uh, matrix uh, calculations so some students uh, actually uh, get trouble in there so uh, i think you already have covered uh, two or three uh, mathematics courses so if you have covered uh, matrices in them uh, then uh, just practice them before coming this course or just recap them before coming in the course so inshallah you will be fine with them yeah uh, it's a very balanced course we have programming we have the theory we have the formulation so uh, and also in the exam you'll have uh, all uh, three uh, uh, portions like theory some theory some um, numerical portion and some programming portion yeah? so uh, it's not like a theoretical kind of course in which you have a lot of information to remember um, so I think uh, it will be uh, fine for you. It's a two and two course, which means two hour lecture, one hour tutorial, and two hours lab. Uh, whatever you cover in the lab, uh, lab is mostly open for the students. So you can directly practice in in the lab. You can actually uh, the lab engineer who is Abdulati, uh, he is uh, always available. You can take as much help as from him. Of course, uh, also from the YouTube tutorials, there are so many tutorials for the uh, CATIA softwares. You can practice them. So lab is very uh, simple, and I found uh, uh, over the uh, last three four years students are usually very uh, happy or they are very like you know satisfied with the lab uh, uh, practicing etc these issues yeah uh, regarding the theory side of uh, or the tutorial side uh, just like other courses uh, just practice you know uh, take your class notes take your uh, don't miss the lectures uh, and uh, just prepare uh, from the uh, books and uh, other resources which have been provided so it will be like uh, uh, very simple easy course if uh, you are good in calculations again you can uh, easily score a especially uh, calculation and programming both if you're good with them you can easily score a in this uh, subject uh, but usually average grade is b plus or b uh, in this course